So I am excellent at procrastinating. I can put off recording videos for such a long time. I can put off writing for such a long time. I will clean my entire house and not get any practical work done because I know that I can do it another time and stuff like that, but I'm just kind of putting it off. I'm an expert procrastinator. Now, you may be in the exact same boat as well because I know a lot of people are like this situation, but there's a um, lesson from I got from Tim Ferriss, the author of Four Hour Work Week, and it was basically he was saying something along the lines of if you had only two hours in a week to get the important work done, like what would you focus on during that time? So let's just say you're a bodybuilder, for example, and you have to like a competition coming up. What are you going to do in those two hours per week? If, if your whole week is flat out, but you've only got two hours to maximize results, what are you going to do? It's very likely you're going to go to the gym, right? Around that, you might eat as well. But the, the stuff that you'll actually do, the physical stuff, you'll be going to the gym. If you're a um, YouTuber, for example, what is the one task that you need to do that will um, be the main catalyst for growth of your YouTube channel? It is recording videos. So if you had two hours in a week, over 168 hours in a week, and you only can only spend two hours of that week like doing actual work, would you be uh, fiddling with thumbnails? Would you be fiddling with like scripts? Would you be um, thinking about uh, SEO, YouTube SEO? Would you be thinking about finding an editor? No, you'll be recording videos because you've only got two hours to get as much content out as possible for that week. So, or, or what's another thing like business? If you are like in a sales team, if you were in like any business, for example, once you've got the product and stuff sorted, like let's just say you haven't got anything. So you build your product, you build your site, you build your um, uh, manufacturing side of things, you, you, you get your accounts in order. So you've done all these big tasks, but now the, like just normal day to day, when it comes to the two hours per week, if you can spend on your side hustle, for example, what is the thing that's going to move your business forward? It's likely it's going to be something sales related or it's going to be marketing related. So putting the effort into creating ads or picking up the phone call and making 200 dials in that 200 in that two hours, or maybe not that much, that's too much, but maybe like uh, 60 calls, two minutes each um, for that two hour period, or it's um, uh, optimizing your ads or optimizing something within your ads or finding the right niche for your ads and putting the right marketing budgets in place so that your ad is put uh, pushed out for the rest of the for the rest of the week so it's just something to think about because um we waste a lot of time and i waste a ton of time there's so many weekends that i've like wasted like i wake up on a saturday and then i have plans to be like yes i'm going to do this but then I end up hoovering the house first. I end up mowing the garden first. I end up dusting. I end up putting, like, cleaning the kitchen. Um, everything, like the whole house is immaculate. It looks incredible. Like it is worthy for guests to come over, right? But at the end of the day, I, I, after I've done all of that, I might even go for a bike ride. I'm just like, oh yeah, let me get my exercise in first. And when it actually comes down to doing something that's going to increase the bottom line, my like highest income activity, I put off recording videos. I stop, I, I forget about like the scripting side of things. I don't even bother editing. Like It's just like all these things are getting pushed back because I'm procrastinating on the thing that I know I need to do, but it's like the most important task and I'm still not doing it. Whereas if you frame it, okay, I've only got two hours per week this week that I can actually do my work. What am I going to do? For me, it's recording videos. For me, it's writing stuff, um, blog related, new book related, um, uh, checking out, oh yeah, drop shipping stuff. So just making sure those are optimized. So just put this into perspective on what you're going to need to do for your life and your situation, whatever you're doing in life. Um, whether you have a YouTube channel, whether you have books, whether you have like e-commerce businesses or other businesses, what are you going to do in two hours that are going to provide the most highest return for your time during that week? I, I hope that helps and I'll catch you in the next video.